In the bustling city of Frankfurt am Main, there lived a gentle gray horse named Jenny. Her mornings were filled with adventures as she strolled through the streets alone, her eyes filled with curiosity and her heart full of love for the city and its people. Jenny was not your ordinary horse. She was a local celebrity, as well known and cherished as the Dome Cathedral and Romer Square. Her bridle carried a note that read, My name is Jenny. I didn't run away, I'm just walking. Thank you. The note had become a symbol of her unique presence in the city. For 15 years, Jenny had been exploring the streets of Frankfurt, bringing joy to the people she encountered. She had a keen sense of direction and knew precisely where to go and where not to go. Her daily walks were a delightful routine, a source of connection and friendship for the many people who eagerly awaited her arrival each day. Jenny's owner, an 82-year-old woman named Helga, loved her horse dearly. She knew Jenny craved the excitement and freedom of her daily walks, as life at home could be rather dull. Helga could no longer ride Jenny due to her age, but she was more than happy to open the gates each morning and let her beloved companion embark on her daily adventures. The people of Frankfurt adored Jenny. They would greet her with warm smiles, gentle pats, and even occasional treats. Cars would slow down to let her pass, and children would flock to her, hoping to pet her soft, gray coat. Jenny's friendly demeanor and sociability made her a fixture in the community, and the people could not imagine their city without her. During her walks, Jenny would encounter about 100 people, each eager to share a moment of connection with the famous gray horse. She had a particular fondness for a lush meadow by the banks of the main river, where she would often pause to graze or simply bask in the sun. When she felt ready, she would return home to Helga, her steps light and her spirit fulfilled. Jenny's fame had spread far beyond the borders of Frankfurt. When Japanese tourists were allowed to visit Germany, guidebooks would mention not only the Dome Cathedral and Romer Square, but also the enchanting gray horse that roamed the streets of the city. Her story was so captivating that it had been turned into a film, which had been nominated for several prestigious awards at film festivals around the world. One beautiful morning, as Jenny trotted leisurely through the streets of Frankfurt, she spotted a group of passers-by accompanied by their dogs. The canines wagged their tails enthusiastically, their leashes held by their smiling owners. Sensing an opportunity for camaraderie, Jenny approached the group with her characteristic friendliness. The dog walkers, recognizing the famous gray horse, smiled and welcomed her to join them. Together, they strolled along the picturesque streets, their shared love for their animal companions bridging the gap between species. The sight of Jenny walking alongside dogs and their owners brought joy to onlookers and further cemented her status as a beloved member of the Frankfurt community. The pandemic had changed many aspects of life in Frankfurt, but it had not stopped Jenny from enjoying her daily walks. She continued her routine without any restrictions, her presence offering comfort and a sense of normalcy to the city's residents during these trying times. Helga would often receive phone calls from people informing her of Jenny's whereabouts, ensuring that she was safe and well cared for during her adventures. The local police, too, had become accustomed to Jenny's daily walks and would keep a watchful eye on her, treating her as a cherished member of the community. One sunny morning, as Jenny made her way down a familiar street, she came across a group of children playing with a small, scruffy dog. They laughed and cheered as the dog chased a ball, its tail wagging excitedly. Jenny approached the children, and they eagerly welcomed her into their game. The laughter and joy of the children filled the air, and even the dog seemed to be smiling as it played with its new friend. Together, they frolicked in the sun, delighting in the simple pleasure of friendship and connection. As the day wore on, Jenny said her goodbyes to the children and the dog and continued her journey through the streets of Frankfurt. She visited her favorite spots, received pats and treats from her many friends, and basked in the warmth of the sun by the main river. Her heart swelled with gratitude for the love and kindness she experienced in her city. As the sun began to set, Jenny knew it was time to return home to Helga. With a contented sigh, she made her way back through the familiar streets, her hooves echoing softly against the cobblestone. When she arrived, Helga greeted her with a loving smile and a gentle stroke of her mane. The elderly woman could see the happiness in Jenny's eyes and knew that her horse had enjoyed another day of adventure and camaraderie. Welcome home, my dear Jenny, Helga whispered, her voice filled with warmth and affection. I hope you had a wonderful day. Jenny nuzzled her owner's hand, her way of expressing gratitude for the incredible life they shared. Together, they walked into the stable where Jenny would rest and dream of the adventures that awaited her the following day. The city of Frankfurt am Main continued to cherish and celebrate their beloved gray horse, Jenny, who brought smiles, laughter, and hope to all who crossed her path. Her daily walks became a symbol of resilience, friendship, 
and the enduring power of community. And so, Jenny's legacy lived on, inspiring countless stories and touching the hearts of people around the world. Her gentle spirit and boundless curiosity served as a reminder to embrace the beauty of each day and the connections that bring us together. Dear friends, if you enjoyed this heartwarming tale of Jenny, the Grey Horse of Frankfurt and Maine, please like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Your support means the world to us, and we look forward to sharing more adventures with you.